The second main brain region I want to talk about is the diencephalon. So we've got the cord, the um, cerebrum out here with all these grooves and fissures, the gyri and sulci. This here, what is this white matter right here? This is our corpus callosum that at attaches one hemisphere to the other, allows them to communicate. So deep to that, we've got the diencephalon here. And then we've got this largest part here is going to be the thalamus. The thalamus is a relay station where information comes in from various sensory um, places and then is either it's decided by the thalamus whether to send the information on or not. So an example of this would be when you're sleeping, you don't see lights um, or consciously see um, lights that might be shining even with your eyes closed. That information or noises, another one, um, that a loud noise might wake you up, but a quieter noise might not because your thalamus tells your brain to keep sleeping. It says, let's not send that information on to its wherever it might go to be processed. For example, somewhere in the some primary cortex area. So visual information would be here, for example. So thalamus is our relay station. It also would have received information from the cerebrum to be able to integrate that as well. Um, then we've got our hypothalamus, just below the thalamus. And this is where there's gonna be a lot of um, autonomic control. We'll see this again with the ANS, um, body temperature, a lot of basic important functions like that. This little thing hanging off of the hypothalamus is the pituitary gland. This is actually an endocrine gland where hormones are released into the bloodstream. That's what a hormone is, right? So it's actually hormones that are produced in the hypothalamus and some that are actually produced in the pituitary gland that are released. Um, we'll talk much more about this in the, you stick around for the spring. The last part that's highlighted here is part of the epithalamus. So the epithalamus is above the thalamus. And the part that is highlighted here is the pineal gland. The pineal gland is another endocrine gland. So it releases hormone. It releases melatonin to regulate your sleep wake cycles. So that's the basic anatomy of the diencephalon. It gets a lot more complex, of course, and we are not going to talk about all the detail, but I want to show you, at least have you have some idea of the detail um, and at least appreciate what we're not learning too. So over here, what is this? This is our thalamus. Both the thalamus and hypothalamus will be um, talked about more than your epithalamus. So that's the two shown here. Oh, that was cool. Thalamus, hypothalamus just below that, pituitary gland will be right here. Um, so let me show you what these actually look like. Here we go. We zoom into the thalamus, there are separate nuclei in the thalamus. What this means is there are collections of cell bodies that are in charge of processing different types of information. So for example, the lateral geniculate nucleus or body is back here. This contains neurons that receive information from your um, visual fields, um, from your eyes, and then transmit that information off to the occipital lobe where your visual cortex is. So remember all these nuclei, right? If we have a cell here that might travel on to a different region of the brain, that's supposed to be a 
multipolar neuron there. Those interneurons are typically multipolar. It might receive information from somewhere else. And there's collections of these cell bodies in these different brain regions here. You don't need to know all of these. Just know that there are a bunch of different nuclei that do different things. And someday you may want to learn them. Again, thalamus processing information. Um, it has nuclei for hearing, vision, um, and then filters and sends on information or doesn't onto the cerebral cortex. That would, that's where that information will become conscious if it's going to be. So again, those are nuclei, the axons project to other brain regions. Um, then the hypothalamus is down here. So here's our hypothalamus just below the thalamus, which would be up here. Um, and you can see connections to the pituitary gland. There's also many different nuclei in the hypothalamus. Um, we're not going to talk about any of them really specifically. Some of them that you may see in the future, suprachiasmatic nucleus, um, which relate to sleep cycles as well, paraventricular nucleus and supraoptic nucleus, um, actually are the, the two main ones that are related down to hormones that are secreted from the pituitary gland. Um, the more that we'll look a little bit more at this anatomy in the spring semester. Overall, hypothalamus controls autonomic nervous system, body temperature, food intake, and then these pituitary hormones, which have a bazillion million different, different awesome functions.